hanging up my little wood burning stove to put inside my camper. I bought two 45 degree elbows from Winterwell to uh, accomplish this. This will go up, this will go through the wall right here. And this will fit on top of that. And my spark arrestor on top of this. I have I've built this contraption right here to mount on the outside of the, the outside wall of the camper. When I get it mounted on there, it'll give me this 45 degree angle right here, which to mount this flange on. It'll look something like this right here. And that's how I can use a 45 inside and a 45 here. Now I tried a 90 degree here, and it was a hard 90. And it didn't draw very well, so hopefully this is going to do the trick right here. I've got the outline drawn of what I'm going to cut out, and that's what I'm about to do. Got my hole cut. All right, I've got it installed. There's my first elbow. Runs up and right out through that hole that I cut. There's my box that I built so that I could do the 45s. There's my next 45. Right on up to the spark arrestor. I think this is going to work fine. I'm fixing to put some wood in there and fire that dude up. We got the fire going. It'll take a minute to catch up and catch everything. Yeah, it's gonna draw fine. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. It's gonna work fine. This little dude heated my bell tent, which was a 13 foot bell tent. It heated that thing up and run you out of there. It's really going to heat up this little camper right here. <clears throat> so I won't have to burn as much wood, I don't think. I've only got three pieces of wood in here, and it really had not even caught yet. It's already warming up the inside of this camp. This thing is drawing excellently. I'm really pleased with it. One 45 degree elbow right there, and one on the outside to make, a, make it 90. You go straight up. Yeah. 
This is going to work really well. Let's go outside and look at the smokestack. Yeah, she's drawing. She's drawing. It's gonna work. I'll stain that box right there to match the count and give it some protection. I've only got three small pieces of wood in there. And it's just it's hot in here. I've opened both of the windows a little bit. So this thing is going to heat. Of course, it's not, it's not real cold. It's in the high 50s out there right now. And it's raining. It's moist and damp and cool. But this little dude is going to heat this camper just fine. Now, I've got one of those mats to put up underneath this thing. This is just a trial run right here. And I will probably put some corrugated roofing metal right here on these two walls. I don't know if I will or not because this is just barely warm. And even right up here where it's really close, that wood's not even hot at all. I mean, it's just barely warm. So this is going to work out. I'm not going to travel down the road with this thing hooked to the side of this camper. So I'm going to take it off. It's pretty easy to do. It's four screws on the inside, one out here. And then my plug for this hole. This is the piece that I cut out of there and I put this trim around it. It fit in there right there. One screw, one screw, one screw, and one screw. And uh, of course I'll stain this too. But uh, that's it. This is going to work excellently for me.